Hi, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the covariance of a two stock portfolio and their correlation on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. We'll use a simple example to help us. Hypothetically, over a five year period, Apple and Microsoft might provide the following annual returns. Year one, Apple 9%, Microsoft 10%. Year two, Apple 14%, Microsoft 15%. Year 3, Apple minus 8%, Microsoft minus 3%. Year 4, Apple 5%, Microsoft 7%. And Year 5, Apple 9% and Microsoft 6%. So what is the covariance and correlation of returns of these two stocks over this period. Firstly we need to find the mean of each, each stock and then save this to the memory of the calculator. Because we're working with individual calculations on a series of numbers I think it's a neat solution to use the memory function in the calculator. So to enter the memory worksheet on the calculator first you press second memory and then we're into the worksheet and then second clear work to make sure any previous work has been uh, removed. So first we'll find the mean of Apple so we want 9 add 14 minus 8 add 5 add 9 uh, divided by 5 equals. So that gives 5.8. So enter that into the um, memory um, M0, the first memory section of the calculator. And then down arrow, so in the second memory section, we'll add in the, um, the mean of Microsoft. So we've got 10 add 15 minus 3, add 7, add 6, equals, and divide by 5 again, equals, and that gives you 7. So I'll enter that into the calculator. Now you can of course write these um, means down, but uh, I find it's nice to use the memory function in the calculator, particularly if you have more um, lengthy numbers than we're using in this example to ensure accuracy. Um, so now the next part of the calculation is to take each of the annual returns and minus the mean of returns and then multiply the two different stocks together. So we'll continue to use the memory function on the calculator and press down arrow. <coughs> so to start off we'll open brackets and we've got 9 minus recall 0, close brackets, multiply by open brackets, 10 minus recall 1, close brackets, equals 9.6. So we enter that in the calculator, and then we down arrow and so we've got open brackets 14 minus recall 0 close brackets multiplied by open brackets 15 minus recall 1 close brackets equals 65.6 so then we down arrow again and we've got open brackets 8 which is a uh, minus and then minus recall 0 close brackets multiplied by open brackets 3 which again is a minus minus recall 1 close brackets 
equals 138. And just two more to go. So down arrow again. And we've got open brackets 5 minus recall 0. Close brackets. Multiply by open brackets 7 minus recall 1. Close brackets equals 0. And we enter that 0. And then finally, down arrow again, we have open brackets 9 minus recall 0. Close brackets multiplied by open brackets 6 minus recall 1. Close brackets equals minus, uh, minus 3.2. Now that we have the series in the calculator, we can add them all together and divide by the number of years uh, minus one. It's minus one because we're using a, a sample. We're using sample data in this example rather than um, the population. So in which case with the population, of course, it would just be the number of years. There wouldn't be the minus one. So we've got recall two add recall 3, add recall 4, add recall 5, add recall 6, which gives us the, um, the number of 210, which we then of course divide by 5 minus 1, which is 4, which gives us 52.5, which is the covariance of these sets of data. Now you can marry this um, tutorial up with another of my tutorials on standard deviation variance and mean on the BA2 plus calculator to find um, the correlation of the two stocks. You need the um, standard deviation to do so. Um, I've done this already. So to find the standard deviation of um, Apple and Microsoft, um, you, you need to have a look at the other tutorial. Um, but the standard deviation of um, Apple is 8.34865.2586 and the standard deviation of Microsoft is 6.595452979. So to find out the correlation, all we need to do is multiply these two numbers together. So we've got... 8.348652586 multiply 6.595452979 which gives us 55.063 so we'll just add that to the memory, store zero. And then we just divide that by the covariance. So 52.5 divided by recall zero equals 0 0.9534508. Um, You'll notice my light is fading somewhat on the um, on the webcam. Uh, our lights are uh, running out of battery, so I'll I'll wind this up. Uh, this number's reasonably close to one, so it shows that there's um, there's good correlation, uh, which you would have expected when um, when you looked at the numbers at the beginning of the tutorial. Um, it's been a bit lengthy, but thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.